Hey folks, so we've got a kiln opening right now and what I'd like to do is to show some of the flower pots after the first firing. This is called the bisque firing. You basically fire to cone 06, which is approximately 1867 degrees Fahrenheit. You do this over a cycle of about 12 hours. So what I'm doing right now is just removing some of these pots from the kiln. So in this clip, we're back in the studio and what I'd like to do is to show various ways that I glaze some of the pots. So I haven't used this glaze for about a month, so what I've got to do is to mix everything thoroughly. Once everything is homogenous, then what I need to do is to collect all the glaze and apply it to the pot in various ways. So this is a reservoir that I'm using for an aerator. I'm going to fill this little guy up with glaze and in the next clip I'll go and put on the top part and which will allow me to spray glaze onto the side of the pot. So here's the top right now. Once I go and press that firmly into the reservoir, then what I could do is push air out of the end of that straw while I'm spinning the pot around. So once the pot is relatively centered, what I'll do is just give it a good spray. Okay, so most of the exterior is done. So now what I'm going to need to do is not disturb the surface, but pick up the pot and glaze the bottom. You can see the application right here. It's a little bumpy, so I'm hoping it will smooth out in the firing. In this part of the clip, what I'm doing is trying to spray the bottom of the pot with a little bit of extra glaze. Later I'll go back, shave off the dried glaze, and wipe down the surface of the foot ring. So in this portion of the clip, what I'm gonna do is to dip the front and the back of this pot into the bucket of glaze. The only thing that's problematic with this is you don't have a strong gauge on how thickly you apply the glaze to the pot. So what I'm hoping for is to have a very light application of the white, given that I only dipped it for about two seconds. In this section, I've got a pair of tongs that I'm using to grip onto the pot. So what I'll do is to dip everything inside and get a good even coating. And then once everything is all set, I'll lift the pot out, pour all of the excess, and then I'll let it dry. So now that the pot has dried on the exterior, what I can do is go back and pour some glaze on the inside. When the pot is filled up with glaze, what I'll have to do is to pour everything out and then to try to get a dip on the lip of the pot. So I'll dip everything, shake it off, and then I dipped it quickly into the glaze. Now what I'll do is to try to shake as much of that glaze out of the pot as possible so I get a light application on the inside. Here's another pot that I'm starting to fill up with two to three cups of glaze. I'll need to dump all this out, and then after dumping it out, give it a quick little dip, and then hope my glaze is not too thick.
Here's the final pot that I plan to glaze. What I'm doing is a double dip to get a very quick application of this transparent glaze. I'll set this off to the side for 10 to 20 minutes so it can dry thoroughly. And then after that, I'll be able to dip the other side. Depending on the thickness of your pot, you'll sometimes need to let these guys dry overnight, but it all depends. This is a transparent glaze and is much less viscous than the white that I had prior. I'm hoping for different results. Now that this one is done, it's time for the reveal. I'll just need to clean these up and get them ready for the kiln once they've dried overnight. Thanks for watching.